So I turned 29 last night and I'm very excited about it. I'll be 30 next year and I can't wait. I'm gonna be throwing a huge party and it's going to be, the theme is going to be, well, I want everybody, it's gonna be kind of carnival. Um, for anybody who's ever been to carnival or at least watched it on TV or whatnot, you see everybody wear the feathers and they wear their flags and all that. That's what I want. Um, so you come in your flags, whether you want to represent the country you come from or your country, your heritage, or if you want to represent your sexuality, I don't care. Bring your flags, bring your flags, bring your colors. I'm gonna go all out. It's gonna be fun. There's gonna be soca, calypso, reggae. Um, there's gonna be all kinds of Spanish music. There's gonna be real food. I'm not gonna have that nasty ass pizza. We ain't gonna have no nasty ass pizza. We ain't gonna have no, no cheese and crackers. No, no, no potato chips. No, we gonna have real ass food, okay? So you gonna come and actually eat food food, all right? My mom is gonna do all the cooking. She's gonna do all the baking. And if anybody, whoever I send an invite to, if you wanna cook something and bring it, do it. Um, it's not gonna be a huge, huge party because it's going to be at my house whenever I get one. Um, it's going to be at my house. And because it's going to be at my house, I want to make sure that I can accommodate everybody that can come because I don't live near anyone. So when I send out the invites, uh, it's kind of an expectation that you're probably going to stay over. So I want to be, able to be able to accommodate everyone. So it's not going to be a packed party. You know, it's going to be more of a small little private event, but it'll be fun. And, um, I have decided that I'm probably going to live in a rural area because I can get a rural development loan, um, and which means I probably won't have neighbors because Georgia is country as fuck. So I'm probably not going to have neighbors. So you have to worry about neighbors getting upset about the music being loud. That's not going to happen. Okay, I will make sure that I don't live in a place where you can hear your see your neighbors. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a blast. I can't wait until I, I'm already starting to plan what I want. I've already had like a bit of an idea of what I want to do, but obviously I have to get the house too, because there's going to be certain things that I want to set up in the house. And since it's October, I would also like it to have a Halloween zest to it too. So it's going to be fun and I can't wait. Um, I'm very excited and I'm like, I've never thrown a party, so I would like to throw one, and that's what I'm gonna do for my 30th birthday. I'm gonna throw a party, and for my 40th birthday, I'm also gonna throw a big ass party too. So, y'all, just waiting for that. Um, my life is getting a little bit better. I'm still struggling financially, but you know, it's getting better. Things getting things are getting paid off, and you know, all that jazz. Um, I'm actually about to go do my hair today because I'm about to do some weave. I'm about to put in the braids do the long braids but I gotta wash the weave because I was told that it probably itches me because of the chemicals on the weave so I gotta wash the weave first so I can put it in um, I like to twist my hair or braid my hair first because I find that I don't lose hair when I take the weave out and I can just go and it slips right off the twist um, slips off it slips easier off the twist than does a braid I don't know why like you would imagine it'd be the braid because the braid is more solid and the twist is has more likelihood of whatever but so there's that. Um, what else did I want to update you guys on? The job is going great. I've made a friend. I was supposed to be going to her house today, but uh, some stuff happened. So I might be going there tomorrow instead, which is cool. Which is great because it gave me some time to hide some of my stuff because I don't want it to look like I live in my car. <laughs> so I'm like trying to move things around and figure out how I can put more stuff in the trunk. So there's that. She also wants to give me like a bunch of clothes and stuff that she's getting rid of. So that's cool because I kind of need some more clothes. I went shopping yesterday and I made a huge savings at JCPenney. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I got to stop popping these zips that are on my arm. <laughs> um, also, my stomach is fucked up because I've been eating a lot of hot pickles and I need to stop. But they're so good. <sighs> but my stomach right now is like on fire. Like, I can feel my intestines. I can feel the rumble and the grumble. Like, they just, just waiting for my ass to be on the toilet. Just waiting for my ass to be on the toilet. Just waiting. So, that's happening. <sighs> yeah. Um, what else do I want to tell you guys? Oh, yesterday. So, last night, I decided to go to Chili's. Okay, so we were going to go downtown and, like, go to a gaming bar downtown. But there was it's it's homecoming weekend so this like athens last night was so crowded i didn't want to be in all that 
because I, I didn't want to not hear her when she's talking to me and I just I didn't want to be in all this I was like you know what it's crowded it's homecoming weekend I didn't know it was homecoming weekend so we decided to just go to Chili's instead and that's where we went so we ate there and we had dessert we drank a little bit we talked about everything I'm telling you guys she and I have so much in common and I'm so happy to have met her she still refers to me as co-worker though but then she also invited me to come over to her house today. You don't really invite your coworkers over, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I see her as friend, <laughs> but everybody is different. So, you know, oh, one of the things I really like about her is she just, she has no filter. She just says what's on her mind. She's a Scorpio, so that's, that's, that's something. And um, I mean, I'm a Scorpio rising. So I relate kind of, cause I do tend to just say what's on my mind. Uh, but I also tend to be very, very filtered the way Libras in general are very filtered. <laughs> so it just kind of, it depends on the situation. Most of the time I'll just be blah. Um, but then there are also situations where I wouldn't even say shit. I won't say anything and I just observe, you know? And then I try to think of a way to say what I want to say without causing trouble. So I, yeah, so that happens. But she's really awesome. We have so much in common and I'm so happy that I've met her. I'm glad that her door is like right there where I like, I wish I could explain my office setup. Um, I can't record in the office. So, I mean, I can, but it just can't be like, it can't pick up anything that it signifies what it is. So, and there's, it, stuff is everywhere. So there's just, I'm just not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try it cause I know I'm gonna screw up. So, but um, she's really cool. My manager is freaking awesome. No, my supervisor is freaking awesome. I haven't met my manager. I only spoke to her once. And it wasn't on the phone. It was through emails. Um, but my supervisor is awesome. I really like her a lot. <laughs> she's just so... She is like Olivia Pope. I just can't. Like, she just... Them vibes. I'm like, girl. <laughs> Woo! And what else do I want to tell you guys? Um, my mental health has gotten a lot better. I've been taking my medicine, my medication, my medication. I have been taking my medication and it has definitely been helping me. Um, I had a weird experience last week, not last week, the week before last, uh, where it kind of felt like it wasn't working. <laughs> and I don't know, I don't know. Um, I don't know, maybe the pill I took was just a bad one. Cause I, I mean, I don't know, but I, I had an episode Last week was just awful, honestly, it really was. Um, and it's not like anything bad happened. Nothing bad happened, it was my head. It was just my head. And that's what made it awful. But I still tried to be positive and I realized though that I was kind of being rude. It was it was completely unintentional, but just the way I was talking, people were just kind of short. I was really short with people, with everyone that was talking to me. I was just short with them. Um, it took a while to respond to people. I just, I wasn't feeling well last week. And my head space was just, wasn't in the right headspace so but I'm fine this week I also had a random day where I felt like I was getting sick sick like I was about to catch the flu or something and it was I didn't know I was so cold it was I don't know I don't know I don't know I have no idea what the hell happened but I'm better this week so I don't know you know maybe I did have a bug and it just it was just quick my body may have fought it off real fast I honestly have no idea what the deal was but other than that, I'm fine. This week has been pretty good, and I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely week. I plan to go hiking tomorrow. Um, if I do, I'm probably going to make another adventure video, but it's going to be at the same place as the last video. Uh, just hopefully it'll be better shot, and I'll probably have somebody with me, because I have a couple people that said they want to come. So, um, yeah, and I'm curious to know whether or not there are a bunch of Pokestops over there, too. But... Yeah, you guys. I hope you guys have a really good day. I hope you guys. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. And shout out to all my October babies, whether you are Libra or Scorpio. It doesn't matter. That's a Scorpio. Scorpio. It don't matter. Okay, it's October. October is the best month of the year, by far. So shout out to all y'all. And I'ma go.